All right, folks, Pitching Ace 88, and we are back playing Plants vs. Zombies 2. It's about time. We're in the far future, heading on to day 24. Now, day 24, you gotta survive while the sun bombs fall. This is actually gonna be pretty darn difficult, but the bok choy, the iceberg lettuce, the potato mine, cherry bomb, laser beam, winter melon, and the tall nut are going to be basically something that you have to do. I don't see people doing it other ways. I'm sure some people can do it the other other ways, but this is the way that I choose to do it. Um, again, you're going to want to kind of set up your, your rows to where you have a front line of the tall nuts. But the main reason that you want to do the potato mine uh, aside from you know doing a lot of damage to some of the bigger enemies it doesn't it will allow you to basically gather up a whole bunch of Sun in this early part by not actually attacking the zombie till it actually gets close to you uh, this is something that you'll notice that I end up doing a lot uh, because the first time that you really uh, attack a zombie is when the next guy kind of comes in or if the zombie goes like six or seven tiles forward, then the next zombie comes in. But if you actually hit him before that, the next guy will kind of come up uh, quicker. So this basically gives you a little bit more time to basically gather your resources. Resources here are always going to be to put the bonk choys in the third row, the tall nuts in front of them, laser beams on the very back row, and then the winter melons if you have enough sun in the blue tiled rows. That being said, you'll notice that, again, I'm using time to kind of just allow for us to just gather as much sun as possible. Uh, also, whenever these tall nuts become available, we're definitely putting them down because we're going to be getting quite a lot of zombies, at, especially at that final wave. You're going to get quite a, a bunch. Uh, so you're definitely going to want to be planting all of the tall nuts. Give yourself as much defense as possible. Uh, and the bok choys do a great job of doing massive damage to the zombies when they come super close. And we have 500 sun here. So we could technically plant a winter melon. Uh, but again, you'll notice the tall nut is actually coming up in terms of being able to plant another one. So we're really going to want to do that. Uh, plus, we want to be able to put down our laser beam guys, uh, especially on that second from the top row, because that guy is just going to keep producing more and more zombies, which are going to be really problematic for us, especially early on. Uh, so this is something where you could definitely use a cherry bomb to kind of take him out, do a whole bunch of damage to him. Uh, the tall nuts will allow them to not actually, you know, attack you, which is always a good thing. Plus, the bok choys should do plenty of damage to them. Um, but again, the cherry bomb is a really effective way to kind of take them out. Uh, so again, at this point, you are doing really well. If, if before the first flag, you have a full row of bonk choys and tall nuts, you are going to be doing really, really well. Because even the bot swarms aren't going to be doing that much damage to you. Um, now again, the iceberg lettuce can definitely be used to slow down the helmet guy. Because as you can see, the helmet guy is going to be doing quite... A lot of damage to you uh, you can also plant down a potato mine basically save yourself from basically using the cherry bomb and using the cherry bomb on you know another more pressing one when you have a lot more of these guys when you have a lot more of them it's definitely something that you can definitely you might definitely want to try now the great thing is again you're gonna want to take this guy out don't want him to do any any real damage to us but the laser beam in the very top row is going to be doing damage to this guy. So when he actually gets up to the potato mine, it, he sh it should do a pretty good damage. It should take him out. And if it doesn't, the bonk choice should basically uh, finish him off. See, and as you can see with the laser beam along with the potato mine, you can easily take that guy out. Um, now at this point, you're always going to want to make sure that you have around 150 for the cherry bomb. So even when you do get enough for a winter melon, um, you can definitely plant one, but also know that you know, you're know you gonna wanna be able to have enough sun to do that type of damage to him. So gonna be using the winter melon in the very middle row just to do damage to these guys. Plus, once we get enough for the cherry bomb, we should be doing 
plenty. Now you can definitely use a plant food to take both of those guys out. And it also puts the bok choy to take out everyone else in the front line. So, fantastic. Use a cherry bomb to take out that whole kind of bottom row. Also something to where you might want to use a plant food on the very, very, very top row. But you're going to want to wait till most of the huge wave of zombies actually start coming out. So when that huge wave of zombies start to come out, that's when you're going to really want to use it. For instance, like right now, take it out. Basically takes out that whole row. Now you can focus on all of the other rows. And you can also kind of take out, you know, those two rows. So now at this point, again... We really only have two helmet guys. We real pretty simply, we can easily just use a cherry bomb and take both of them out. We just have to wait for the sun to actually come all the way down. So regardless whether or not they're gonna do stuff, it doesn't matter. You can easily you can take them out. But anyways, guys, that is day 24. Hope you guys stay tuned for the Zomb Boss. It's been Pitching Ace 88. Over and out.